My name is Sarah V. Downey, and I'm an internationally award-winning writer and director. Well, when you uh, create a screenplay from a fictitious world, you know, really you have your, your creativity as a palette. Um, doing a story like this is very original um, because you're taking one man's life story and you have to put it into a hundred and so odd, pa so many pages to tell a complete story. I met Antonio through my good friend, uh, Sarah B. Downey. She was talking to me about this project uh, that she was considering having me help in producing. And um, we just kind of went on a kind of on the fly trip up to San Francisco to, to meet him because uh, she was already planning on meeting him. And I just kind of tagged along and kind of got to know the story and his background and uh, it seemed really exciting. I really liked the story. He sounded like a really good guy, and uh, a definite, definitely a story that um, you know, film could be made about. And uh, you know, I really liked everything she had to say about him. And uh, we met for the first time in San Francisco, and it was a great meeting. You know, all of the expectations I had, he met and even surpassed. Um, made a really good impression on me as far as somebody to work with. Uh, and somebody to work for and kind of join in on, produ on a production for with. One of the things for Tony is that you really have to commend someone. There's a lot of people who say that like, oh, I've got great material, you know, I could write a movie about my life. The great thing about Tony is, is Tony knows how good his material is and that he actually did do the movie. He did it, you know, he, you, he took that step in order to do it and I think that there's a lot of courage that comes forth when you're able to kind of tell a truth about you know your situation I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be phenomenal well you you have you know the main character which is Johnny Russo who you know that's the character's name it's actually me but in whatever whatever actor plays that role you know what will be playing basically my, my life story from the time when I'm 17 and when I first enter in into the the game, you know, we'll say the streets, selling, selling um, guns, and then, um, and then the probably the second most uh, important role would be my lawyer. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and and it's basically um, a lawyer who I've known for 15 years, um, who basically befriended me as my rise when I was coming up in the music business and I was making a lot of money, and I kind of looked up to this guy, and became looked at him more like a, a father figure, not so much like a lawyer, and became f friends with him. We traveled to Mexico, you know, rented yachts, threw big parties, and um, throughout the years, you know, I gained a lot of trust and respect for him, and eventually, um, throughout the story, you'll see, but I invested money with him, and he basically ran a real complicated Ponzi scheme on me, and then um, basically got himself caught up, and then turned informant, and then actually set me up on this case. So he, yeah, it's, it's a crazy story. It's, it's a lot to explain. I think the kind of film that Tunnel Vision is um, and why it would work is because, well, after reading the script for the first time, I felt like it definitely had um, a hook in the beginning and also a hook at the end, you know, which I think is really important to the viewer and the audience is you want to start out really hard and make the audience feel something right off the bat so they're you know they're in it for the whole ride and really captivate them but then also leave them wanting more and I find that's really hard to do in a short film and that's been done really successfully. That all these stories um, you know basically you take you know whatever that uh, situation is and you'd put that one word on the board and then you'd look at all those words and then you break it down. Which one of these has the best stories? Which one of these are going to drive the motion picture forward? So then, um, basically, uh, in Tony's, <laughs> which this was probably one of the most difficult things to do, was to take those and then get it to something along this line. You know, it takes, you know, for somebody to actually, you know, write a, a motion picture like this, it would take, take many years. And uh, I, I think it was probably one of the best challenges I've ever had in my career to uh, be able to put a motion picture together with, with so much great content. The way Tunnel Vision in working on this project has impacted my life, 
I think um, first, before anything, it's been a great learning experience because um, I've always been a self-starter. I never really had a job in my life. You know, I, I started out, you know, washing cars when I was younger, then grew up into it, owning a couple detail detail shops, and then eventually getting into the music business, um, and then into real estate. So, so um, working on this tunnel vision project, and working with Sarah and other professionals involved, like Mario and and um, a couple people uh, from TriStar Films and other people who who've been helping me out with this. It's always gaining knowledge. And there's a long list of films that have done so well uh, over the last couple of years, even the last decade. And I find that the more real a story is and the more people can relate to it and the more interesting it is for people to watch. And oftentimes I find that those films are the most successful. Uh, you know, you have Straight Outta Compton that just came out and I would I would make kind of a comparison just in the sense of its realism and its truth uh, and the aspect of, you know, one man's story moving through life, but actually showing the struggles without kind of the Hollywood glitz and glamour. Um, I think it's a very strong story. I think it's very dynamic. I think it has a lot of bold points to keep the viewer interested and engaged and in suspense and kind of in a mode of thinking about what's going to happen next. The interesting thing too about Tony through all these, you know, trials and tribulations, so to speak, is that generally when you when you see someone, they always kind of like roll in a group, right? So if you're going to go and let's say you're going to go from the good side of town to the bad side of town. If you go into the bad side of town, you're not going to go to the bad side of town by yourself. Everything that Tony did, Tony did solo. He was, you know, and there were a lot of situations that even, I know a lot of people from a lot of different walks of life, that's what's so, like, yeah. you know, wild about you. Yes. I'm like, you did what by yourself when? Like, yeah, I mean, you know, the, you're filing it's, it, Yeah, you know? it's crazy. I mean, just thinking about the, you know, some of the stories that she heard, but it's, it's also true, but, um, you know, from one, one minute I might be, out in Compton selling guns to somebody and at age 17 and then you know the next you know next year I'm walking the yard on a level 4 prison you know with with the mob with the yeah, yeah with the real mob you know and um, prison you know, raids pr yeah prison raids Unabomber. I mean yeah being locked up in Sac County up there with the Unabomber was actually my celly he actually gave me his bible Whew. yeah so I've been through some some crazy <laughs> Great. And it's just yeah. a lot of different people who I came in contact with throughout the story. And it's basically, we're telling, we're telling a 20 year history, basically from the age of 17 up until I'm um, 39 in a 126 page script. Uh, to be telling stories like that and telling really dynamic, interesting, real stories. And I think it's got a lot of really great selling points that are going to leave people wanting more. Not only do you see this man go through these different facets, but you also are able to see his subconscious. So you're really watching a man in every which way uh, go through a journey. And I think his story is very unique. 